I went to a coffee shop that time in San Francisco. And the gentleman who was telling the story told a story about how much land is enough. How much land is enough. And he started the story off by telling about these two sisters who were sitting in the uh, kitchen having a cup of tea. And the first sister said, you know, you should come and live with me in the city. Because in the city we have everything. Oh, we have libraries and post offices and supermarkets. We have everything to see. And the other sister said, but you know what? Here in the country, we have our own garden space. And we don't have anybody stealing our, our neighbors are so far away. I wouldn't have anyone stealing our husbands from us. And they talked about it, this and that, this and that. And finally, the husband, the man in that family, was up in his one-room loft, and he overheard them, and he said, Well, you know, my wife is right. We could be happy here in the, in the uh, country if we had just a little bit more land. He went to sleep with that thought in mind, and finally the daughters, I mean the uh, the uh, wife and her sister fell asleep too. They put their cups away, and they went to bed, went to sleep. The next morning, however, Pahom was his name, decided that um, he would go out and build up or dig up their land. It wasn't good land, but it was all they had. And he was saying to himself, I just wish, I just wish that we had more land and better land. And at the coffee shop that afternoon, someone overheard him and said, well, you know, you can have more land if you go thus and so, quite not a way, not too far away, about a day's journey a day's journey, and they are giving away the land. Oh, they are, you get as much land as you want. Well, he discussed this with his wife that evening, and she decided with him they would wake up early the next morning and take that journey to where they could get as much land as they want. They took produce from the farm, and then when the people of that land greeted them, he said, well, you can have as much land as you want. And Paul opened up his pocket and he took out the money that he had mortgaged his land. He said, well, you, we mortgaged our land and we really do want much land. And so uh, the uh, people in that area said, of course, you can have a day's worth of land. You can have a day's worth. And they of course, they said, what you have to do is walk all day long over a certain area that we will prescribe, we will tell you, and then uh, at the close of day, before the sun goes down, all the land you have walked on will be yours. Oh, Paul was excited. He was excited. He woke up very early that next morning and he started out walking along. He put on a jacket because it was a little cool and he took a sandwich along and he took a spade too because he wanted to turn the land up every now and then to see how, how, how uh, fertile it was. And so he walked along a long, long way. And every now and then he looked back to the hill where he had to be back by sunset. But there was a lake in front of him. He, there was a cross lake, cross bridge, so he walked across that lake. And then when he got to the other side of the lake, 
he saw a forest, and he wanted to have that in his land too. So he went along the line to found the forest. And then after he got to the end of the forest, oh, there was lovely botanical gardens that he wanted to include in his land too. And so he walked faster, walked faster, walked faster until he got to the gardens. And then he knew he had to rush to get back to the hillside before the sunset. And he ran as fast as he could and walked and back. And he actually did get it back before the sunset. But he fell. And when he fell, a little blood came out of his head. And when they examined him, they saw that he was dead. Actually, they said, well, we'll keep the money and we'll give him six feet by three. Because actually, that's all the land a person needs at the close. Six feet by three. And day by day, I must think of that. How much land is necessary? Six by three is all the land that is necessary. Now, I stepped on a pin, a pin bet, and that's the way the story went. How much land is enough? Is there more tea? There sure is. Let me get you some more tea. Is that the end of the story? Yes, it is. Thank you, Aruna Mama. How much land is necessary? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's some more tea.